I'd like to demonstrate the, um, the different mic models. Um, hopefully you can hear them on your computer. Maybe you'll take the time to plug this into a big speaker. Okay, this is the Line 6 modeled microphone. I'll talk about that in a second. So this is modeled after a Shure SM58. And you may notice that the levels changed a little bit. That's because an SM58 isn't quite as loud a microphone as the other model. Now when I switch it to the model based on the Shure Beta 58, you'll notice the level came back up. It's a little brighter. That's what that microphone does. If we simply hot swap those two microphones on a cable, you would experience the same difference that you're now hearing. Uh, this is the Sennheiser uh, 835 model. Um, Kind of like the Beta 58, not as much proximity effect uh, for a singer that knows how to work the mic. Um, this is something that a lot of people use. Uh, here's a model based on the Audio-Technica 4100, a little more aggressive top end, um, if that's appropriate for the person singing. Here's our model of the Electrovoice 767. And again, you may notice some different level changes along with the frequency response. Uh, what we are changing in these mic models is frequency response, proximity effect, um, and the level just to match the mics if you were to hot swap them. And this is the model based on the Audex OM5. It's probably the quietest. In fact, there's probably 8 dB a difference between the Beta 58 and this Audex OM5 model. This is a very clean, clear microphone. Very, um, it doesn't alter the sound much. Now I'm back to our Line 6 model. And um, so we asked ourselves, you know, what, what microphone would all these manufacturers make if they weren't limited by mechanical means? In other words, when you build a microphone, you're basically building a very tiny little device and you're, you're highly impacted by the materials available to you and the little voice coil sizes. And once you get a mic pretty close to being what you'd like it to be, it's very, very, very difficult to change that because you're just so limited by materials and sizes. But we have DSP built in this microphone, so we have a whole lot of tricks that they can't do. So what we did was we modeled what we thought after we've analyzed all these models of the other microphones. Uh, that's how we make them. I mean, we take them apart every which way and backwards to see what makes them tick. We looked at the strengths and the weaknesses of all those microphones and kind of combined the, the strengths that we pulled from them into a single mic model that's only achievable with DSP. The V70 comes with rack ears. Uh, even for a single unit, you get a long and a short ear. You get antennas. You get front to rear mounting on the antenna. That comes in the box. When you get two units, they simply mount side by side together with a little coupling um, rod. You use the two short ears, and you can stack up uh, uh, six tall double wide. So you can stack all 12 together. It becomes a one-piece unit. Here's a neat feature. Antenna distribution is built into the receivers. So you don't have to buy antenna distro boxes, which would cost you another $1,000 or $1,500 for a 12-channel system. Um, we also offer um, remote paddle antennas, omni-paddle antennas, directional paddle antennas. So uh, for a, a big system uh, or where you need a lot of distance or something, those are readily available. They just plug into the back. So that's it, the new fourth-generation digital wireless microphones from Line 6. And we're here at GearWire showing them to you today. Thanks.